Stay bent down. Stay bent down. That's it. Oh, gnarly, dude, sick. Hey, what's up, Charlie? How's it going? Hey, today we're gonna do some front 50-50 stalls and front 50-50s in the mini ramp. All right, dude, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start on a curb. And I want you to throw your board on the curb, parallel on the curb, both trucks on there. That's right. And then I want you to stand front side, so facing the ledge. That's what makes this front side. I want you to set your feet kind of into riding position so that your heels and toes are matching. Back foot on the tail, front foot up front. Feel your heels as they hang off the edge of the back of the board. If this doesn't feel comfortable, wiggle your toes so they hang over the edge of the board more. That's the riding position right there so that you have some toes hanging over and then your heels are hanging over pretty equal. Keep your head over your toes because your body goes where your head goes. Now I want you to wind up your shoulders and swing your shoulders as you lean on your back heel to kick turn and give it a little tiny hop. So as you make your kick turn, you're gonna wind up your shoulders and right as you swing your shoulders, when your shoulders match your skateboard, you're gonna turn together. So keep your shoulders with your skateboard as you turn. Wind up your shoulders. Swing those shoulders and turn together. Good, perfect, hey, fantastic. One of the most important pro tips of this is to have your heel wheels up against the coping. So notice how most of the truck is on the top of the ledge. Not like this, okay? Because if I go like this and I go and let go of my board, it's gonna fall off. That's the same for you on the ledge and the same for you in mini ramp. All right, next, let's take this to a bank ramp. Start about 20 feet back from a mellow bank ramp. So go ahead, put your skateboard down, put your front foot up, and I want you to push and stand in the riding position. Just before you pump up that bank, I want you to wiggle your back foot back more into an ollie position. Be bent down just before you hit the bank ramp so that you're ready to give a nice big pump up so that your pump matches the distance of the ramp as you pump up. And then you're gonna do a front side kick turn, get onto a 90 degree lock-in on the top of the bank ramp and bend down and lean your head over your toes. So for your front side kick turn, you're gonna keep your shoulders parallel with your board, stand with your feet in riding position and then wiggle that back foot back so it, so it hangs off. That's gonna give me the additional leverage needed to help me to stay on my heels as I make my front side kick turn. Look what I do, I'm gonna wind up my shoulders, swing my shoulders right when my shoulders match my skateboard. I'm gonna turn together and then bend down into my landing. Pump up and swing into your turn and then bend down, okay? Let that back heel drop down so you're pivoting around your back heel. From this, you're gonna work your way into practicing and really getting a good solid front side kick turn on a bank ramp, just like this. If you need help with this, start with a broader turn into your front side kick turn. And as you get better, start to tighten your turn so it's more straight up and down up the bank. That one felt good and comfortable for me, so now I'm gonna tighten my turn a little bit more. This is the prerequisite for front side 50-50s, so please learn these. If you need help with this, click this video above to help you. You're gonna start back, Make sure you have time to push and get those feet set, bend down, big pump up, and try to match your pump power so that you come to a stop at the top of the bank. I want you to initiate your 90 degree front side kick turn so that you stall on the edge of the top of the bank into your imaginary 50-50. Once this becomes comfortable and easy, we're gonna add our kick turn in off of the curb into the bank. nice smooth flowing combination of pumping up into your kick turn all in one motion and bending down as those front wheels touch down and leaning your head over your toes. Mini ramp time. The prerequisites of this is you need to know how to drop in. Do you know how to front side kick turn? Yeah. The next thing is I want you to just ride out of here just like this. Next, I'm gonna have you drop in. You're gonna pump up and into a tiny little front side kick turn and really pump up so that you get your head and body on top of the deck of the ramp. Okay, so go out. Go out. It's like a front side 90 rollout almost. Pretty much like a rollout, yeah. And if you do this right, you'll kind of catch into a front feeble a little bit. Okay, okay. I'll try that. For anybody who doesn't know what a front feeble is, as you turn, you'll come up and you'll feel your, your back foot toe wheel go over the coping and then your back foot heel wheel will be hanging out over as you ride out of the ramp. Now, drop in with a little more speed to ensure that you ride out of the top of the ramp. 
Woo -hoo -hoo. That one got sketchy. <laughs> Remember, your body goes where your head goes, so as you do these, your goal is to get that head over and sometimes even past your front foot to ensure that you stay up here and you don't fall back into the bottom of the ramp. As I get more comfortable and confident with this, I'm going to start to give more frontside kick turn into getting both trucks on that coping. So notice that I'm leaning my head over my toes, really bending down for safety, and even putting my hands on the ground to make sure that I'm safe. Hey, I got on my first one. A big part of getting on my first one is I want to evaluate where my wheels are and where my body is. Is my body on the top of the ramp? This is the most important pro tip of this lesson. Both heel wheels should be locked up against the coping so that you can take your hand off the board and your board will stay there. Charlie, can you get into one of these? I'll try. All right, let's see it. So now that you have the confidence that you can get on top of that ramp, I want you to drop in slower and rely on more of your pumping up and on top of the coping. Bend down, big pump up. Hey, almost. Good, good, good. And that's a good bail. And that's going to happen to a lot of people. Okay. So notice you locked into your front feeble. Your head wasn't bent down over your toes. So you dumped into your heels and had to jump backwards. Good bail. Hey, that's it. Now for you and everybody else, this is your practice until you get confident and consistent with doing these okay, okay. just practice the lock-in just practice that lock-in and, and in, in practicing your lock-in you're gonna you're gonna hone in how much power it takes to pump up to lock in once you get good at that then we can start our lesson from going in off the curb good now bend down scary one more thing as you do this Right when you lock into your front 50, you want to feel as you bend down, your head is over your toes, and you want to kind of have your butt hanging out over your heels. That way, as you start to lean back, it's almost like leaning back in a chair. Okay. okay? You keep your knees bent down so that you can get off of your board fast if you need to, because once you stand up, it's hard to get off your board. And you need to have your knees pre-bent so that you can stand up as you pump down the ramp. That's right, that's right. Bend down, leaning back, big kick turn. Yeah, dude! Woo! Sick. How'd it feel? Scary, but good. Hey, it looked good, man. Does that leap of faith when the heel goes over, but the second the wheel touches, I feel safe. Good. It does take a lot of courage to get that hop off of the coping and into your pump. So I know how you feel, man. You wanna try it again? Yeah. Try it again. I could probably pump out better. Okay. Just make sure you stay on those heels as you make your kick turn because a lot of people are gonna to start to do this and they're gonna notice when they go to make a frontside kick turn, their head is over their toes. So they really feel that toe wheel catch the coping and it's gonna mess up their kick turn and their confidence. All right. Ah. Good, that's a perfect one. Good. Much better, dude. Yeah, I felt comfortable coming back in. Yeah, that looked a lot better. So again, the scary part of this is the whole committing to, to swinging and leaning backwards and, and hopping to unlock those wheels off of the coping. So the best way to do that is you give it a little extra hop, just like we did off of the curb, so that it takes weight off of your board so that your wheel can bump over the coping and back into the ramp. I'm gonna do some. Notice that I start to lean back first as I stand up and into my pump. I want everybody to also pay attention that I'm trying to keep my shoulders with my skateboard so that we turn together. You want to try to grind it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good, good, good. That's it. Fantastic. Let yourself grind to a stop and then evaluate your lock-in. Give it a kick turn back into your pump. Okay. Ah, there you go. Remember, bend down, bend down, bend down. Ah. I gotta get down. Yeah, see, that's the thing. So the second that front truck hits, that's the good lesson for you and everybody else. Second that front truck hits, you need to change direction because you're gonna feel that momentum trying to push you off your board. So if you change direction down, 
it kind of uses your momentum to your advantage and it changes it going down and into your board for some force. Okay. You're applying force to, for extra stability. That's right, that's right, that's right. Bending down nice and deep. Yeah, dude. Yup. Remember to pay attention to having that heel hang off for extra leverage. Dropping that heel on your back foot as you kick turn into your pump back down the ramp. Your goal is to get off while you're grinding. Okay. Okay. So no adjusting. You got to do it. No all. adjusting. You, all of this is going to come from a good pump up and lock in because when you do a good pump up, your wheels will already be locked in where you want them to. Okay. All right. Ah, getting sketchy. Dude, that's a really good example of something that happens a lot. I want everybody to pay attention that his back heel wheel went over the coping. And did you feel that? No. Yeah, it's kind of hard I to felt, feel. I felt my head too far in the ramp. Yeah, it's kind of a hard thing to feel, but that's a very common mistake that happens. Your back heel wheel will go over the coping. You'll start to try to go to kick turn in and it'll feel loose. It'll feel like it slides out. That's right. Fantastic, dude. I was so sick. Barely grinding. Dude, that edge. was really good, man. <laughs> Seriously. So I'm really proud of you. How'd that feel? Good. It felt, I mean, it was scary to grind, but it felt the same as an axle. Okay, cool. Oh! So, I noticed that you're grinding and then you're standing up and trying to bend back down to go back in. Stay down. Stay down. Alright, gotta stick that You gotta keep the finger on the trigger here. Stay bent down, stay bent down. That's it! Oh! Gnarly! Dude, sick! I was so scared I ollied to flat off. Dude, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> they figure hey, on the trigger. <laughs> exactly, see? Exactly. So that way you're prepared when you want to go in because it's such a small window of opportunity that, yeah, once you go in, commit and get it. Hey, I'm proud of you, man. That was sick. That's yeah, gnarly. All right, I'm going to go for some big long grinds. I'm gonna exaggerate my pump up, and with more speed comes more carve to get parallel with that coping so that when I lock in, my shoulders are matching the coping and I'm bent down. Next, I'm gonna do a few mini ramp tricks to inspire you guys for more combinations. First off, we're gonna go fakie front 50 back in. Next will be half cab front 50 to rock to fakie. Once that's easy, now we're gonna go half cab front 50 rock and roll. The goal here is to keep those shoulders moving. Next is gonna be half cab front 50 front 270 out. Next is gonna be big spin front 50. Next is fakie front 50 to regular. Now, fakie front 50 to fakie. One of my specialties, half cab front 50, half cab back 50. Next, front 50, 50 to fakie. Next is front 50, front 270 out. Next is, I don't know. Yeah, make it more advanced. Next, I'm gonna try alley-oop front 50. I'll try fakie 270 front 50. Dude, that's so sick. <laughs> that was the first was one ever. Insane. Thanks, man. <laughs> you need me to do all those now? <laughs> yeah, dude, you're up. All right. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> thank you so much for letting me film you, dude. I'm gonna share this with the world and I hope it helps a ton of people, seriously. So, uh, thank you, man. Thanks, man. Hyped up my first front 50 grind, that's crazy. Sick. I'll practice this. Hey, and I'll see you back here at Sunnyvale for more. I wanna say thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel for a new lesson every week. Also, share these with your friends to inspire and encourage and help other people who might need it. I really enjoy helping you guys. Remember to leave me comments of future videos and also what you think of these. Thanks again. <laughs>